Hello. My name is Literary Haley and I love to talk about books, specifically romance books where audiobooks are my jam. So you want to know the darkest romance books I've read. Right off the bat, I do want to say that these books are very dark and your mental health is important. Please check those trigger warnings. Let's start with the obvious, Haunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. This is a dark romance between Zayd and Adeline. Zayd is her stalker and he sneaks into her house, leaves red roses. That's our dethorned, mind you. This has a little bit of creepy vibes because the house isn't haunted, but it's got this like weird vibe to it. So it's kind of like gothic Esque. An honorable mention would be Satan's Affair. That one is a novella. H.D. Carlton is working on a full-length novel and I cannot wait because I freaking adore Sibby. You will see Sibby throughout books one and two, but the series is so good and of course it brings the spice. Sick Fucks by Tilly Cole. I freaking love this book so much. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. This is very dark. Bunny and Rabbit are childhood friends and something happens. I don't want to spoil it. So this is basically childhood friends to lovers. This is very unhinged and this is about getting yourself back and getting that revenge. I read this book a year ago and I still remember, like I can just picture in my head the scenes, everything that happens. I do want to say that the first, I think it was like 20% of this book was really hard to get through. So bear that in mind. Probably one of my top favorite dark romance reads of all time. Oh, also they're dual serial killers. So. Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin is a dark historical romance. I love this book so much. This is actually one of the few books that I have reread. I owned this on Kindle first, then bought the physical, then bought the audio. And since then, I have purchased the physical book for some of my friends. Bennett Sharp lives in a society to where women are taken advantage of and don't have a lot of say, but she's like, Screw that. Bennett Sharp is the daughter of a pirate and throughout this book she is trying to find her father's treasure but in between all of that she gets caught in the crossfires of some really bad men, some really bad things happen. But she perseveres. Wanderlust by Sky Warren. Evie's mom has really sheltered her and Evie's never really experienced anything. She finally gets that courage and she's like, I'm gonna go spread my wings. I'm gonna go travel, I'm gonna do what I want. She's been checking out a book from her local library and learning about Niagara Falls and she really wants to travel to Niagara Falls. She ventures off by herself not knowing the real world. She ends up getting kidnapped by a truck driver and it's insane. Next we've got the Pale Court duet. So book one is King of Flesh and Bone and book two is Queen of Rot and Pain. So this follows Ada and Anosh and Anosh is the King of Flesh and Bone Ada is a midwife, essentially. When people die, they take them to the king of flesh and bone. And upon this delivery, she basically gets dragged down where she meets Anosh. And Anosh is just like, hey, I'm taking what I want from you. And he does. The next duet that I want to talk about is Creep and Monster by Marie Anne. This is really dark, twisted, all of the things. Our heroine in this one has been abused her entire life in all ways that you can think of. And her stepfather gets into some trouble. He obtains a lot of debt. So he sells his stepdaughter daughter to pay off of his debts. The guy that he sells his stepdaughter to isn't much better, but they learn that they are both monsters. The Dark Duet by C.J. Roberts, Captive in the Dark and Seduced in the Dark. I read this series, I want to say back in 2020. What I remember from this book is it is a captor captive romance. This was one of my first dark romance reads before I jumped off the deep end. So basically the heroine in this one is a abducted and to be sold on the black market and trained as a sex slave. His and Mine by Audrey Dark are both dark erotic romances. His follows our heroine who is basically playing Nancy Drew and gets caught up 
and the hero who she's been spying on takes her and breaks her. Mine is about a surgeon who likes to unalive people. She is in for a consultation, but he becomes obsessed with her and she becomes his. Now for the most messed up dark romance book, heavy on the dark, is Take Me With You by Nina G. Jones. This takes place in the 70s. The descriptions are immaculate. Vesper is the good girl who always does what she's told. Her mother basically neglects her and her younger brother. Where she lives, there's been an uprising in criminal activities. She finds herself a victim to those. If you don't want to go that far off the deep end, Comfort Food by Kitty Thomas might be a good introduction to read before this. Now the two have nothing to do with each other. Their only similarities are going to be kidnapping and psychological abuse essentially. With Comfort Food, the heroine in this one is kidnapped and since she is studying psychology, she knows that eventually Stockholm Syndrome is going to run its course. It's written in first person with the exception of when she is being essayed, then it's written in third person. So she totally has like an out of body experience and I really enjoyed that. And those are the darkest romances that I have read or if you want to say dark books with romance, erotic dark or horror erotica. Again, please, please check those triggers. This video is kind of all over the place in terms of which books are the darkest. Even though this is the darkest romance books that I've read, I still wanted to make a scale from like dark, darker to darkest. Now this is my own personal scale on how I would rank these, but thank you guys for watching and bye for now.